In this video, I'll show you how to transfer music from iTunes to your iPhone. If you find this guide useful, please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do is go and open up iTunes. If you don't already have that, I'll quickly show you how, but I'm probably assuming you've already got it. But if you don't, all you need to do is first to go and open up the Microsoft Store. I tend to just go and tap on search at the bottom of my computer and then just go and type in Microsoft, just like so, and it should automatically pop up. And then you can go and tap on it. And here we are. So wait for it to open. Now, it's important to know that to go and use the Microsoft Store, you are going to need a Microsoft account and you will need, will need to go and sign into that. Don't worry, I'll show you how, but you can also go and create one if you don't already have one. So to do that, all you need to do is go to the top right uh, to where this icon is, where mine says RT. This is because my name is Rob Tucker and I'm already signed in. So tap there and you can go and sign in or go and create an account. Then once you've done that, you can then go and search for iTunes, just like so, and go and hit enter, and it won't take long to load. And here it is, and all you need to do is go and press download. Mine says open, because uh, I've already got it, but in your case, it probably says download or get. Then once you've gone and got it, then all you need to do is go and open it up, and here we are. Now the next thing you need to do is just come to this homepage here and make sure library is selected. And what you need to do is go over to the left hand side and make sure music is selected. Now the next thing you need to do is go and find the music or the songs or the tracks which you want to go and put uh, into your iPhone from iTunes. But what you need is the actual files on your computer. So in this case, I've got four uh, songs here which I want to go and move to my iPhone using iTunes. So all you need to do is go and highlight these just like so. And then once you've highlighted them, all you need to do is drag them in. As I said before, make sure songs is selected and then go and drag them in just like so. You'll see this sort of um, blue box appear, then let go. And as you can see, these have now gone and appeared in your songs in iTunes. Now, the next thing we need to do is go and sign into our Apple ID on iTunes if you aren't already. But what's really important is that you go and sign into the same Apple ID that you use on your iPhone. Okay, it has to be the exact same one. So to go and sign in, all you need to do is go and tap on account and then go and tap sign in like so. And as you can see, we can now go and enter our Apple ID email and password. And when you first go and sign in, it will say something like accessing iTunes store, just like that. Now, when you first go and sign in, you may go and get a pop up saying something like this. It's going to go and say, would you like to go and merge your iCloud music library? And it's really important that you go and tap merge because then what this does is it's going to upload all of the songs in your library onto iCloud and then we can go and get them on all our devices, i.e. our iPhone. However, if you don't get that pop up, then don't worry because it's fine. There's actually a workaround. All you need to do is go and tap on edit like so and then go into your preferences. And then what you need to do is go uh, into your general. And the second option here says iCloud Music Library. It may be slightly different, but just look for it in your settings. And as you can see, it says store your Apple Music songs and playlists in iCloud. So you can access them from all your devices. So make sure that is selected. That's really important. And then go and tap OK. Now they're gonna be syncing all over your devices. Now come on your iPhone because there's a few important settings that we need to go and set for this to go and work. So firstly, go and open up your settings like so. And firstly, you want to go to the top of your settings to where it says your name and it says Apple ID, iCloud, Media and Purchases. So tap here. Then what you need to do is go and tap on iCloud in the second section here. Look for this section called apps using iCloud and then go and tap on show all. And what you need to do is scroll down and make sure music is switched on just like this. And then once you've done that, there's one more setting we need to do. So come out of your iCloud and Apple ID settings and scroll down until you go into the option for music. Uh, here it is. If you're struggling to find it, you can always go and search your entire phone for it by typing in music, just like so. Then what you need to do is make sure sync library is turned on. As you can see, it says your purchase music, content you add from Apple Music or import to iTunes and changes you make to your library also across all your devices. That's basically meaning all the songs you add onto iTunes are gonna be on your device. So make sure that's switched on. And once you go and switch it on, it may take a minute or two for it to sort of download the music, I guess as such. And yeah, then we'll go and open up the music app like so, and we'll go into our songs. And as you can see, here are all of the songs I just added on iTunes. You can go and compare them. They're exactly the same. And if you want to go and add more songs, all you need to do is drag them into your song library on iTunes, and they're then going to appear here. If you guys found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.